So we're looking at the Yahoo Search app for the iPhone and the iPod Touch that's available in the App Store. Um, totally free. And so let's say I'm, we're here in Las Vegas, uh, and if I was in desperate need of a, a plumber, mm -hmm. uh, I could just start searching. Um, and you can see here it autocomplete. So I'm just going to click on um, search suggestion for plumbers. It loads up. And as you can notice in the search box, I actually did not type Las Vegas, um, but it recognizes I'm in Las Vegas and provides uh, results here for Las Vegas. So if I'm in desperate need, I can just call this guy right here. Uh, if I'm actually looking to consider multiple plumbers, I click in uh, and I have more local results. So one of the things that we've always been frustrated by are applications that either have a full map view or a list view, and then you have to continue to toggle back and forth between the two. And here, you don't have to make that. Uh, you can, If you want more list results, bang, you pull that up. If you want less, you pull that down. If you want a little bit of both, um, you can pull it right there into the middle. And then as you move through the list, it reorients the map for you and repositions the selected item in the front of the map. You can click in here. You get photos. You get hours of operation. Uh, you get reviews, uh, and then, or you can just go directly to their website as well. Um, you can also do voice search, Chicago weather. I didn't have to hit the done button. It recognized that I had finished talking uh, and automatically executes the query for me. And then I have my Chicago weather pulled from Yahoo, click in if I want more weather, three-day, five-day forecast. Great, so that's the Yahoo search app for the iPhone uh, available today uh, on the App Store. Awesome. Thanks a lot. Thanks.